Hey guys, what's going on? Dr. Frank here, the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs. In today's brief video, I'm going to ask you 12 questions to help you determine if you are struggling with a marijuana addiction. These questions are from the group Marijuana Anonymous, MA. What I want you to do is go get a pen and paper, label it numbers one through 12, and then you're gonna write a yes or a no next to each number on that sheet of paper. Let's jump right into it. Question number one, has using marijuana stopped being fun? So this is where maybe in the past you would use marijuana with friends, you have really, really good memories of your use with it, and now it simply isn't fun anymore. If anything, it's anxiety provoking and it's depressing at this point. And when you guys answer this question, I want you to keep one thing in mind. Don't think of the first time you smoked weed. Think of the last time you've smoked weed. A lot of times we romanticize about our past experiences with weed, and sometimes we'll still say, yeah, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun, even though our reality is very different. So yes or no. Question number two, do you ever get high alone? Now, I'm going to put a little caveat on this question. There's a lot of people who smoke alone for medicinal purposes. There's people who use it recreationally just to relax, no different from someone having a drink of alcohol, which in my opinion is far more toxic alone. I do not personally believe that answering yes to this question would be an immediate sign of addiction, but either way, do you smoke alone? Yes or no? Question number three, is it hard for you to imagine life without marijuana? Now, again, we're taking the medical benefits out of it. We're not referring to people who use it for you know pain relief or medical reasons. We're talking about addiction. Is it hard for you to imagine life without marijuana? I know when I was in the, the, the depths of THC addiction, never in a million years did I think I was ever going to quit or could I even fathom or entertain the idea of quitting. I wouldn't have wanted to imagine a life without marijuana at that point because I was so addicted. Question number four, do you find that your friends are determined by your marijuana use? Do you put yourself in friend circles or circumstances that promotes or endorses marijuana use while avoiding circumstances that maybe kind of shun or neglect marijuana use? And I want to add a caveat to this one. And that caveat is this. I'm sure in your brain you have a set of goals or you have a vision for what your future is. Are the circumstances that you're currently placing yourself in or the people you are hanging out with, do they push you closer towards those goals, towards that future that you crave? Or are they a distraction from that future? Are you purposely putting yourself in an environment and around friendships and around circumstances that breeds addiction? Or are you putting yourself in a really positive environment? Question number five, do you use marijuana to avoid dealing with your problems or to cope with your feelings? Do you have good coping skills? If marijuana wasn't part of the picture, would you be able to cope? Again, I'm not talking about using marijuana for PTSD and anxiety and depression and as an anti-anxiety medication. I'm talking about do you have coping skills? Have you put forth any effort to develop proper coping skills? Or is marijuana your escape? Is marijuana your go-to? Can you handle pressure? Can you handle any amount of pressure? You know, they say one of the things that defines a person and that makes a person successful is their ability to handle pressure. Can you handle pressure or are you quick to fold under the grips of addiction? continually going back to it. I know when I was struggling with active addiction, I couldn't handle any pressure, the slightest amount of pressure, and I would fold right up. Question number six, has your marijuana use led to financial difficulties and or legal consequences? Of course, if you're finding yourself in a challenging financial situation, I think it's easy to say, well, it's only 50 bucks a week. Well, it's only 100 bucks a week. It's only 200 bucks a week. But 
I, I want you to ask yourself, are you postponing a marriage? Are you postponing an engagement? Are you not able to provide for your kids? Are you not able to provide for your family? Are you not happy with where you're at financially right now, just in general? Do you believe you're capable of more? Because if that's the case, then any amount of money, whether it's $10 a week or $100 a week, is significant. So how do you look financially at the moment and how are you doing setting your up setting yourself up financially for your future right now is that even something you've considered Question number 7 Does marijuana use let you live in a privately defined world I don't really understand that question so I'm not going to go into it I want to go back to question number six, though, legal consequences of marijuana. Have you lost a job or have you not accepted a, like a job promotion because of your marijuana use? That would also be a sign of a problem. Again, question seven, I didn't understand. Question number eight, have you ever failed to keep promises you made about cutting down or controlling your use of marijuana? This, in my opinion, is one of the worst side effects. This is where we lie to ourselves. We tell ourselves we're going to do something, and then we don't see that something through. And I would expand on this question. Are there other areas of your life where you've committed to something or you've made a commitment to yourself saying, I'm going to do this, and then you failed to see it through. You failed on that commitment. Does this behavior sound like you? And if so, has it occurred with marijuana use or is marijuana use and addiction breeding this behavior? Question number nine, has your use of marijuana caused problems with your health, memory, concentration, or motivation? Are you going after all those goals or has your life goals changed? Have you knocked things down over the last few years? Have you suffered from cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome? Have you suffered from psychosis? Have you suffered from depersonalization disorders? Are you having panic attacks? Are you having worsened anxiety or worsened depression, which are side effects of THC use? You have to ask yourself if you're experiencing those things. Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I putting myself through this? Question number 10. When your stash is nearly empty, do you feel anxious or worried about how to get more? COVID's hitting. A storm is coming. Look at the amount of people during COVID who flooded cannabis dispensaries. The lines were off the charts. Are you worried about your stash? This is usually a pretty clear sign of addiction because in often, often many cases, that individual is very concerned about the withdrawal symptoms that they may experience. Question number 11. Do your, do your life plans revolve around marijuana use? So do you plan your days? Do you plan your activities around marijuana use? Oh, I can't go do that because I can't smoke. I can't go to this place because I can't smoke. I can't date her because she doesn't smoke, even though I think she'd be uh, a great catch for me. Do you plan your life activities, your day-to-day -day things, your relationships around marijuana use? Or are your day-to-day -day activities planned around the things that you're trying to achieve in life? Every action we take, eventually there's a reaction. That's just the way life is. How, what actions are you taking day to day and what are the potential consequences of those? Question number 12, have your friends or relatives ever complained that you're using is damaging your relationship with them? Have you lost a girlfriend? Have you lost a husband, lost a wife? Have you been in arguments with your parents? Have you been in arguments with your teachers? Have you been in arguments with your coworkers? Have people questioned your marijuana use? And if so, were you open to that questioning or were you defensive? Did you let your teeth come out? Because I'm going to tell you guys, addiction has teeth. When someone questions you, if you have a true addiction, you are going to defend that. You are going to have every excuse. Those claws come out. Some people used to ask what the hyena laugh in the beginning of my videos was. Addiction has teeth just like hyenas and we're not afraid to bite. We're not even afraid to bite those people who we're closest to if we feel that they're threatening our addiction. Now, let me know in the comments, how many questions did you answer yes to? How many questions did you answer no to? And do you think you're struggling with a marijuana addiction? A lot of people, when we assess addiction, they'll look at it in terms of success. I guarantee I'll get some comments down there saying, well, I'm far more success. I make 
uh, $400,000 a year, Dr. Frank. I'm much more successful than you, and I smoke weed. Um, addiction is not defined by a financial number. At no point here did I ask you how much money you make. Uh, I've worked with people who are beyond successful. They have more money than they could ever fathom. But success, financial success, rather, does not protect us from addiction. Um, it, nothing does. Addiction happens to a person. It's it's something that they get caught up in. You could have a healthy relationship. You could have all the money in the world. You could have really minimal problems to the outside world, and you could still become victim to addiction. So just realize something. If you're successful, you're doing well in school, you have a good job, you have a good family life. If things look good, that doesn't mean that you're not suffering inside from something, okay? Addiction is not always obvious. And these are the people definitely that I'm trying to connect with on here on YouTube. Uh, to a small extent, that was my story. I was completing a doctorate in school in chiropractic care. I had really good grades. Uh, I was always the life of the party. I had money. I knew how to work. Uh, family, relationships, everything appeared decent. Everything appeared good. But that doesn't mean that addiction can't sink its claws into you. So please think about that, okay? And are you lying to yourself about your current life circumstances? Are, are you looking at things with a realistic perspective, not through the blurred lens that addiction creates? Why don't you guys follow me into the next video where I, little, where I talk a little bit about why I had to quit smoking weed, quite actually out of respect for weed. I'll see you guys there.